Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 40 of my Collins Family Let's Play here on The Sims 4. So, in the last episode, if you didn't see, Avery actually moved in with Casper and Casper and Avery both aged up as well. So a lot happened in the last episode and, you know, that actually was a little bit unusual in the last episode because when Casper, no, this was after they moved in, Casper tried to do romantic interactions with her and then the other way around as well and they both didn't take it and I don't know why and it kind of made Casper a little bit feel uncomfortable because he's just went into all this trouble he just all this prom and you know she was really impressed with it he organized it all himself he's just moved it in here and he thought they were really progressing like of course if they're moving into each other and i keep saying moving into each other if they're moving in with each other then of course you know you would think that the romantic um relationship was going up really well and it was and then all of a sudden this happened but um, luckily since the last episode they have been working on it a little bit and they seem to be back in a good position so casper i think this is a really bad decision of Casper and let me know what you think Casper really wants wanted to um start a family with her and like get married with her and he thinks that since they're on a good note a good decision would be to do that like now he wants to you know because he, he was a little bit worried about it not happening since what happened in the last episode um but you know he's going to try and make that happen today and maybe get engaged maybe start a family like in today's episode which is crazy because it's like all that happening in one episode and like one day as well is like random but that's what he wants to do and i've just realized i've moved them into casper's bedroom up here um where was it up here? where was it wait up here which is like a kid's bedroom kind of and i just realized we'll have this bedroom down here which we don't use so i'm actually going to get them to clean that for each other um, and they can have this bedroom because they have a, their own bathroom as well which is great um so what i'm going to get them to do today well they don't actually have jobs yet which is great meaning they can actually work on their you know their um what do you call it like doing their own things today which is great but Richard and uh, Anya both have work today, which is a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, maybe they'll they'll catch up on it afterwards. Uh, so Evelyn, I don't even know who that is, wants to go out with uh, Richard for breakfast. I don't even read what that said, but that's okay. Um, so they are just doing their own thing today. Um, what I'm going to get them to do is maybe go out for some breakfast, just to talk a little bit, um, you know, get to know each other a little bit more. Because I feel like they have rushed into this a little bit, but Casper really wants to make sure that this works. And they're going to take the time to really get to know each other a little bit. They also need to go and visit their parents parents as well because um they don't really know each other that well and remember Avery wants to get into the music career so she will be joining that probably but maybe not today because they want to have a little bit of freedom after they've just aged up so I'm not going to get them to um you know ha have that happen straight away and I'm not too sure what Casper really wants to do because I feel like he wants to be someone who you know he just wants to have the family I know stay-at-home dads are a thing so I'm thinking that might be a possible thing that he could oh sorry I just hit my microphone again maybe that's a possible thing that he could do but at the same time he, they are in both a really bad financial um situation like as the whole family are they have a lot of kids and providing for all of them is really really hard and as you've seen from the past episodes I've had to downgrade the house from one of the best houses in Windenburg to this little one in Willow Creek which is still really nice and they did get they are still lucky to have this house but at the same time it isn't the most ideal place but like I was saying a couple of episodes ago I think um Casper not oh my god I keep getting the names mixed up all the time I meant uh Anya and Richard are starting to really like this house so maybe that's something that they might keep for a little while and they will be in a really good financial position as well oh my god she's in a promo outfit and we've just got bills as well for 26,000 oh my god that is a lot um wow okay so I'm actually gonna get them to work hard because they need to otherwise they're not gonna have enough money to pay for those bills um so wait where did Casper go Bring Casper here. Oh, I didn't get them to do it as a group. Anyway, so I'm going to get them to come and get a table. Oh, um, Thingy's here. What's her name again? I totally forgot. Zoe and her husband, Andrew, is here. And I think this is their daughter, Jessica, or their granddaughter. I don't even know. Anyway, so let's request a table. I should get Avery to change her outfit because this is a little bit embarrassing. Uh, but it's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too bothered. Let's try and do that. Um on let's see if i can actually manage to click it um and just put it into a normal everyday outfit i should give them christmas makeovers i did actually get it for windenburg as well so windenburg is all nicely and christmasy um and i don't think there is one for san Shuno yet i'm not exactly too sure so we might go to san Shuno. well that's I'm, I'm thinking that's where they might move in because um you know the thing that there's some apartments that they've seen on the market which are actually kind of nice so maybe they will 
move into one of those. Um, but remember, I do have my City Living LP, so I won't be focusing as much on Casper and Avery once they move out because, um, you know, I don't want the two LPs to kind of merge into each other because I want them to have some sort of difference. Um, I'm getting Avery, which table do they actually have? Because for some reason they're taking a while. It should be, yeah, this one. So I'm going to get them to um, order for the table. Can they go and sit together? Um, or not? Sit and chat here? Wait, where, where, what is he doing? Is he, oh my god, why, why is he in his formal way? Oh my god. So let's get him to come over here. You know what, I'm going to pause the recording here because this seems to be taking a while and, wait, no, actually, no, it's okay. Let's get him to try that again. Wait, why can't, oh my god. This is, right, what I'm going to do is pause the recording here, I'm going to get this all fixed and I'll meet you back then. Okay, so I'm back now, I've got everything sorted out and as you can see from the bottom of the screen it is like 12pm. They just did that thing where they just stand there for hours, like just not doing anything. It's the most annoying thing but that's what happened. Anyway, I'm going to get them to maybe have their first drink as adults because that's something they haven't done yet. It is a little bit early in the morning but you know, that's okay. Um, and let's see what we can get to eat now. It's, I suppose it is lunchtime so we could maybe get a lunchtime meal as well. Um, I'm thinking... Uh, Make it a little bit more expensive. Casper is paying, so I think he wants to impress Avery a little bit. Um, even though they do live with each other now, I'm thinking. What I don't know what. I don't know what looks nice actually. Um, I'm thinking maybe hamburger it is a chef's choice. I suppose we'll get Avery that, and then I'll maybe get. Um, hmm, and then I'll get Casper. Uh, I don't know, maybe spinach free for tart. I uh, couldn't pronounce it there, but I managed to. Um, I'm going to get him to have that, if it will actually work. There we go. So that's only 27 simoleons, which isn't a lot at all, really. Um, and I want him to go and sit down, if he can. <laughs> and then just sit and chat to each other a little bit. So I want them just to talk about their future and things because you know they seem to be pretty serious about this now which is great um and you know uh, Casper isn't really got wanting to give any hints that he is going to propose but that's something he really wants to do today after this they're going to spend a little bit of time at the chalet and get uh, engaged in things hopefully Avery will um take this because you know I think I'm, I'm a little bit confused and I've been saying this a couple of times I don't know if Avery's in this for the money or for the relationship now because you know she, they have connections with Kim Kardashian which we've already went to meet her with her um, where on earth are they going? Why are they going out here to talk? Wait, what on earth are they doing? Wait, what? They went out there to clout- Oh my god. What on earth are they- Oh my god. Oh, I hate these random things that they do. It's just so annoying. Um, oh, please don't say they gave up the table, have they? No. So, let's go and sit back down to each other. Um, I don't know what's happening with the restaurants at the minute, but it's just getting a total mess. Um, let's try that again. Okay, and the food. Oh my god, look how bad the quality of that meal is. Oh my god, it's put. Oh no. Did she make it? She kind of looks a little bit evil. <laughs> I think we need to go and complain to her. Um, oh my god, we need to go and insult her because that is just disgusting. I'm going to get, you know, Avery. Wait, one. Uh, you know what? I can actually give up. I actually give up. What on earth are they doing? Look, they're just like, not even eating it, they're just walking around, getting up, getting down. Okay, what I'm going to do is just, what, an, oh my god, this episode is a total mess, I'm really sorry about that. But that happens sometimes when nothing goes to plan. But, I mean, it is, it, it, I don't even know what it is actually. <laughs> anyway, let's just go to the chalet, what a waste of time that was, but... You know, hopefully Casper will be able to make it up here because I feel he's a little bit embarrassed about what's just happened there. Nothing went to plan. He thought he was going to impress Avery, but he just went to a terrible restaurant. That used to be a really good place where they used to go all the time as a family, but now it's kind of a little bit not like that anymore. I don't know. Let's head over to the chalet and see what's next. Okay, so we are here at the chalet and it looks so nice since it is Christmas time here. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Oh my god, look how nice this is. Oh my god. That is so nice. Wow. Oh my god, I'm like so excited for Christmas now, seeing all this stuff. For some reason, it doesn't even feel like Christmas. This year has just went over so fast. Like, it's, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just taking a couple of screenshots here because this is just so nice, this background. Maybe I'll use them for the backgrounds of the thumbnails. Um, okay, so that's a couple taken. So I'm going to get them to uh, maybe wander the maze for a little bit. Um, you just have a little bit of fun and then they can maybe go over and uh, propose. So let's wander the maze together. 
Well, Casper will be the one proposing. Um, they should have brought some food with them and then maybe sat down at one of the picnic tables and then, you know, had a little bit of uh, food there, but I don't know. So, they are, like, kind of just paused here. You know what, I'm just, I think Casper's sick of waiting. He seems to be, like, just letting it go slowly, just gradually getting towards the proposal, but I feel like he just wants to get in and do it straight away. So, I'm going to get them to come over here and uh, whereabouts the thingy is right here and get them to, you know, just go and talk about their relationship and things next to that. Maybe that's a little hint. And then I want, you know, maybe... Wait, am I inside a tree or something here? <laughs> um, and I want them to go over there and talk. Is Avery coming over or not? No. Let's get her to stop wandering the maze and then go over there. I said stop it. Wait. There we go. Okay, it took me a couple of times to stop it before she actually stopped. So, oh my god, sorry about that. I, I'm like going too fast within the trees. Anyway, so I'm going to get um maybe them just to uh, talk for a little bit. Um... Hang on, I clicked on the wrong person. Oh, they got 12,000 from the jobs today, Richard and Anya. Uh, let's, you know, get to know, uh, you know, just talk for a little bit. Just tell them about, you know, I'm really enjoying our relationship and stuff like that. Just that random sort of stuff, you know. Um, but they actually can't propose yet because they're actually not as high in their romantic uh, relationship yet. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording here. I'm going to get them to, well, I'm going to take a photo of this. For a possible thumbnail... Oh, my God. What? Look at... <laughs> look at his... Look at the hair. Oh, my God. It's, like, up his nose. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's take a, another screenshot here. So, I can maybe use this for a thumbnail or two. Um, and, yeah. So, I'm going to pause the recording here. Wait until I've got the option to actually propose. And then we'll see if we can go ahead with it. Uh, let's just check one more time. No. Okay. So, I'll pause the recording. I'll meet you back in a minute or two. Okay. So... As you can see, Casper's feeling a little bit embarrassed because, you know, they were just talking and did a couple more romantic interactions and for some reason Avery didn't take it again. Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with her. I, I, just, I just, I'm starting to get a little bit curious to what secret she may be hiding because Casper's working really hard to try and make this relationship work but she's just not going for it at all. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just really, really irritating and, you know, she just doesn't really seem to be that bothered. I, I don't even know. And Casper's getting a little bit angry because, you know, she's, he's spending so much money on her. They've just moved into each other and you, you, I keep saying, oh my God, why have I said that again? Moving into each other. They just moved in with each other. And, you know, he's trying to make everything work and he's, he's trying to give her the best future that she can for. He's really passionate about her reaching this DJ career that she wants. Uh, but for some reason, it just isn't really working out that well and I don't really know why. And, you know, I thought they had a really good future together, but Casper's starting to have second thoughts and it just doesn't really seem to be working. So, Casper is still feeling a little bit hopeful, thinking that there might be a future for them, but at this current time, he's not exactly too sure. So, I think he just wants to forget about what's just happened and maybe just head back to the house and just, you know, maybe try it a different time. He thinks, he kind of thinks that he's rushing into that a little bit too fast. Um, and he, he wants to progress their relationship a little bit more, a little bit more gradually, and then hopefully that'll work. So, this episode has been a little bit of a mess, and it has been a mess for Casper as well. He really wanted this to work, but he's having second thoughts, like I said. So, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know about what you think of the future for Casper and Avery. Do you think they do have a future? Do you think it will work out if they do? Let me know with all those thoughts down below in the comment section. Make sure you leave this video with a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.